Hello. Hello. Today, we're going to show you how to get rid of trolls. Yeah, nasty, mean, horrible trolls. They're a pain sometimes. Yes. And bad for your mental health as well. Yes. So today, we're going to give you some tips on how to, well, stop them appearing on your channel altogether for a start, which is good. We're going to show you how to deal with the really meany ones. Yeah, and why sometimes it's not a good idea just to ignore them, which is what we often tell you to do. Yeah, we do. Now, our channel's been watched tens of millions of times over the last four years. And even though 99.999% of our viewers' comments are really nice, 0.001% yeah. are really mean. Yeah. And that doesn't sound a lot, but when you've got millions of views, that's like over a thousand comments that are really mean. And you need to learn how to deal with them because they can affect your mental health, it's not good. Now, one of the most common types of comment we get is about you being gay. I'm not gay! Well, that's what Just you, because I sleep with a man! That's what you keep saying. It is obvious. I mean, you can see it from space with him, can't you, really? You, I mean, when he's talking, sometimes it, it sounds like somebody's letting a tyre down, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> you swine! I'm sick of having the gay thing shoved down my throat. You should have been put out of your misery at birth. Oh dear. Mm. It's funny though, isn't it? How, how shoved down my throat rhymes with foxes afloat. We did, did we do that on purpose? I don't know if we did that on purpose, but it is, it is a coincidence. And as for, as for misery, put out of our misery, I think the clue is in the word gay, isn't it? It's like, gay! <laughs> it's no, what? You know what I mean? Gay! Put out of our misery. My vet won't let me. <laughs> we, are, we are quite happy people, most yes. of the time, anyway. Yes. I mean, well, I don't... I, I, the, the old coming out thing, how did your parents take it? Uh, very well, actually. Yeah. I had just one question asked. Which, do, I, do we want to know? Did you choose it, or did it choose you? Oh, right. Okay, that's uh, a weird Of course, one. yeah. Uh, because, you know, most people don't understand. And when I says, it chose me... Eeny, meeny, miny, Sean. You're gay. There you go. <laughs> when, he said, when I said it chose me, she, my mum just went, that's fine. I shouldn't really tell the story of when I told my parents I was coming out. Go! I used to love your channel till I found out you're homosexuals. You know you're both rotting hell for your sodomy. I hope it's warmer in hell. <laughs> you can't say that. Well, that's normally you that says that. Well, they're it? sending me there. Who says homosexual anymore, anyway? No idea. Homose if you say homosexual in a really posh voice and slowly, it sounds like Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excuse me, but I'm a Homer Simpson. <laughs> I think what we're going to do, I think what we're going to do for this guy is we're going to put a little bit of homosexual in an envelope and send it to him, and then hopefully you might open it and catch it. <laughs> catch it? Didn't we have sodomy for tea with haggis? <laughs> can't say that! You have got to be really careful on the internet sometimes. Sean bought a book the other day off, I can't remember which auction site it was, uh, that rhymes with gay as well. Uh, and it was a book about how to avoid online scams. It never turned up, did it? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting that one, were you? No, I wasn't. No, I'm thinking, what book did I buy? There are some good things you can do to avoid trolls, though. So if you're on YouTube, one of the good things you can do is you can actually stop certain people from commenting on your channel. If you get a comment that you don't like, you just click the little options box at the side and it opens up a list of options, believe it or not. One of them is called hide from channel. The reason this is a great feature is this will remove the comment from your channel. And the only person who will ever see that comment and any subsequent comments that they put on your channel is them. And they don't know that you've blocked them. <laughs> So they're tapping away, wasting their energy every time, thinking that they're trolling you, yeah. and nobody can see it except them. <laughs> it's brilliant! Colin, you used to be a really fit bloke. What happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I ended up setting up an OnlyFans page, and it's doing quite well, thank you very much. OK. I've always been my ideal weight. What's your ideal weight? My ideal weight is Justin Bieber laying on top of me. <laughs> they call me a Dilf, you know. Dilf? Do you mean Wilf? Probably might be Wilf. I am going a little bit grey, aren't I? <laughs> on the back and sides. <laughs> we did get a volunteer moderator. 
who started to look at the comments on our YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and filter out all the really bad ones because it does affect your mental health if you let it get to you. Yeah. And the moderator was kind of skimming the bad ones away and leaving the cream of the comments for us to enjoy and answer. And we do always recommend that you block, ignore and move on if you see any bad comments, but sometimes that's not such a great idea. If you get one that's really bad, maybe threatening or lying, then it's always best to report it. To YouTube and the police. And tell a friend, talk to a friend about it. Don't just kind of let it whir around in your head. Mm. You have a lot of whirring lately, oh, don't you? Oh, there's so much whirring. You hear it in bed sometimes. <laughs> Foxes afloat deliberately killed Sean's dad by giving him COVID just because they're so desperate for content. That comment didn't appear on YouTube or on social media. It appeared on a canal forum online, yeah. on a website. And the really sick thing about it is that it appeared on the day of Sean's dad's funeral which hurt even more. It wasn't true, by the way. In fact, it was so untrue, and we had so much evidence to prove it was untrue, that the guy refused to take the comment down, and we actually ended up taking legal action against him involving the police. And in the end, he was forced to remove the comment, he was forced to apologize to us, and he had to pay all the costs involved in getting that resolution. Result. And that kind of was a point for us where we decided zero tolerance on people that were going to be lying and really nasty about us because there's no need for it. And some people will cry, oh, it's free speech. And we're totally for free speech. But yeah. there's a difference between free speech and insults and lying. Insults can be free speech. Well, but when you're actually lying about somebody online and telling other people that's not on and that's what i was talking about earlier don't ignore that type of trolling report it to the police report it to the platform that it's been posted on and if you need to take legal action because you shouldn't have to put up with that you're an embarrassment washed up gay boys stop talking about feeling suicidal and just do it you won't be missed to be fair, we are an embarrassment most of the time, and we are a couple of washed-up gay boys, so, <laughs> I mean, half of it was correct. <laughs> as, as for the suicidal thing and, and no great loss, well, I do like to talk about mental health, and some people don't get that, No, and, and that's fine. I think the thing that shocked us about that particular comment was who it came from. Yeah. Normally, it's uh, kind of faceless, anonymous keyboard warriors. This one actually came from a couple of quite well-known vloggers on YouTube. Uh, and that, that really shocked us, and I think yeah. it shocked the other people that, that saw that comment as well. Yeah, I think so. Sad that some people have to resort to that, although we are an embarrassment sometimes, so there you go. Well... Do you remember Nick Ross on Crime Watch? Oh, yes. Do you remember what he used to say at the end of every Crime Watch? Don't have nightmares. Don't have nightmares, <laughs> that's right. And I say that because you think the comments that we've shown you so far are pretty bad, Wait till oh. you see this one. I know where you're moored up. You'll both burn in that boat soon. First of all, and I, I don't like to pull people up on this, but look at your spelling. <laughs> it's hard to be frightened when I have to try and work out the grammar and <coughs> spelling in a death I know. Threat, isn't it? That's, that's just a bit weird, is that one? And the other thing for this guy is he really shouldn't have posted it from his Facebook account that had his real name, his real address, his workplace. A photo of his passport. A photograph of his passport and driving license on his Facebook. Again, we reported that one to the police and we, we got told that, uh, that, that action had been taken yeah. against him. It doesn't stop there though. It's not just threats against us. It's threats against his pets too. Yeah. About two months after Dylan died, uh, when we were in London, well, he didn't die in London, but it's two months after we were in London. Yeah. And we got this one. Seeing you both so upset after we poisoned your dog made me laugh my ass off. You're next. Watch your backs, queer boys. Choir boys? Aren't they a rock band? Or is he thinking of choir boy, like him from Walking in the Air? Do you know what I mean? Alex Jones. Did she do the one show? One show. Yeah, that's the Welsh girl, isn't it? Who am I thinking of then? Oh, the one show. Have you heard him singing the one show? Don't, no, don't, don't, don't. You know the theme tune to no. the one show, don't you? <laughs> one, one, 
<laughs> no, Ali Jones. That's who I was thinking of. Sorry, I tickled your nipple then. Ali, Ali Jones. Oh yeah, you think he meant queer boy? I think he might have meant queer boy. Probably. Might, anyway, anyway. <sighs> Dylan didn't die from being poisoned. Dylan no. had, a, had a tumor on his liver, yes. and, and that's that's why he died. And the other thing is, again, not the same guy, different guy, but still from Facebook, who had a photograph of his car registration on there. So again, report to the police. And Bizarre. At the end of the day, a troll's only power is your attention. If you take that away, the troll is powerless. Yes. And he just have to sit in his dark room, twirling his dick dastardly mustache. <laughs> All right. I thought that were going to be a you can't say that moment then. <laughs> <laughs> Fight, it's like points of view, this, isn't it? It is. Do you want to be Barry Took or Anne Robinson? Oh, I'll be Anne Robinson. Oh, good, because I, I always fancied myself as a bit of Barry Took. <laughs> Google it if you don't know what we're talking about. And finally, as you all know, we moved off our boats last October. And some people weren't very happy about that. No. Don't you think you owe your subscribers some loyalty? Get back on the canals instead of chasing your own happiness. Well, I don't think we'll be getting a Christmas card <laughs> off him this year, do you? <laughs> oh dear! Yes, Scotland vlogs are No wonder you're losing all your subscribers. Go back to boating, it's all you're good at. When he said losing all our subscribers, I had a bit of a panic. So I had a look at the analytics on YouTube. Now on the weekend that we released the vlog that said we were no longer living on the boat, we were staying in Scotland, yeah. we had 139,000 subscribers yes. and a few stragglers. Yes. As of recording this video, we've got 139,000 subscribers. And a few stragglers. So I don't know where losing them all comes from. No, neither do I. To be honest. But anyway, regardless of that, we fully expected to lose, in fact, we, we expected to lose about half of our subscribers. Yeah when we came off the boat. So we are losing people who only watched us for boating content, but then again, we're picking people up who love the Scotland content. Yeah. It's a little bit like swings and roundabouts, isn't it? I like swings and roundabouts. Some are fall off, some are pushed, <laughs> and then others kind of jump on, don't they? Yeah. I like pushing them off, don't you? Oh. Really? One thing I've learned over the last four years is, and that's quite a long time in YouTube years, it is actually. <laughs> is not to let the pressure of the channel get to you. I used to be absolutely fascinated with the analytics and obsessed with numbers, obsessed with subscriber numbers, obsessed with viewing figures, and especially obsessed with answering every single comment. Yeah. And that's not good for your health, and I found that out from my own experience. And I think when a channel grows to a certain size, there comes a point where you've got to either get help with it or you've got to come back a little bit yeah. and, and understand that you can't control this on your own. Yeah. And it can have a detrimental effect on your mental health. Not just mine, I see it with a lot of other channels that grow, especially ones that grow quite quickly and you're not used to it. So there's always things you can do. You've got hide from channel, which is especially useful. You could find yourself a volunteer moderator. Yeah. You can turn off comments. Yes, you sometimes. can. Sometimes. What you can also do is in YouTube settings, you can add words, keywords, and if any of these words are in comments, it will automatically hide them from the comments, from public comments on your wall, so nobody else sees them. And that comes in very handy. Yeah. It's just quite fun writing all the words down because some of them are very, very naughty, but you can do that. Don't let it get to you. Talk to people if it starts getting to you and just stand back and think, is this really what I want to be doing? Yeah. Because don't let it affect your mental health, it's not worth it. We hope you found this vlog useful. I have. It's a little bit different from what we normally do, yeah. but I wanted to pass on a little bit of wisdom that I've got. I don't have a lot of wisdom, mainly no, in my teeth, but I just thought you might like this one. Mainly glue. <laughs> if, you've, uh, if you have enjoyed it, uh, or if you haven't enjoyed it, but you just want to see some more, uh, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up, and if you hit the notification bell, I'm getting used to that, Mark. Yeah, you are. He's always been limp, limp Richard. Thank you. Then uh, <laughs> hit the notification bell. YouTube will let you know every time we release a brand new video. Uh, best of all, support the channel. You can become a YouTube member on top of being a subscriber, Woo! and that will get you all sorts of exclusive content and secrets and gossip. Yes, us, it does. Basically us bitching about other people, isn't it? <laughs> Sean with his top off sometimes. No. <laughs> 
Uh, the other way to do it is to become a member of our Patreon site. Uh, there's a link up above Sean's head uh, in the video description down below if you're interested in that. Uh, we're off adventuring again next week. Jeep! <laughs> Jeep. I think there's gold in them there hills. Oh, good. Don't miss that one. We'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Ta ra. In this vlog, we're going to show you how to get rid of trolls. No. <laughs> You're doing introduction. I thought you were going to say hello first. No. In this vlog, we're going to show you how to get rid of trolls. Yeah. <laughs> Forgotten. <laughs> right. We're also going to show you how to deal with the really mean people, and I've forgotten the last one. Today, we're going to... T Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Today, we're going to talk about how to get... Rid of trolls. Today, we're going to show you how... Tell you... <laughs> Today, we're going to show you... Tell you... Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go! <laughs> two. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> come, on, come on, let's get it done. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Hello! Hello! We're going to show you some tips on, on how to, well, basically, I don't know. See? Round window. Is that what I got me for getting it wrong? Three, two, one. Oh, sorry. Three, two. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs>